guys here with a new video for the channel i hope you like it and if you like it don't forget to leave your powerful like supreme god level comment and subscribe now without further ado get comfortable let's begin the tournament of power had finished with the victory of the universe 7 and in the same way all the universes had returned to normality nevertheless goku and vegeta had won a training with the greatest priest dai shanken sama that's right both saiyans in all this time had been training in the kingdom of everything where Goku had been able to dominate the Ultra Instinct to the perfection, while the Saiyan Vegeta would be able to dominate the Ultra Ego to 56% of all his power. I'm amazed. Both have an amazing ability to adapt. They'll be incredible warriors. Thank you very much, Daisenken Sama, but all this has been thanks to you. Otherwise, you would not have achieved all this power. That's right. We owe all our progress to you, Master. However, at that precise moment, a great roar would be felt throughout the palace of the King of Everything, and even an astonishing pressure would leave Daishenken Sama surprised. This pressure, this power, this cannot be. A huge explosion had been created in that place, however, Daishenken was able to react in time, being able to even protect Goku and Vegeta with a large barrier. At the time of dissipating all the smoke from the explosion, a being with sane appearance would stand in front of all those present. Well, well, so now you have new disciples. That hurts, Master, but how ironic. Now I'll be the one to finish you off. But this is impossible. I saw the king of everything eliminated you along with your entire universe. You're right, but I don't know why, but we have come back to life. And together with me, there are four more gods. Even though the most powerful god is missing, they won't be able to stop us. Goku, Vegeta, go away from here. Inform your god Beerus, you'll be the ones to finish with the legacy of the gods. At that moment, that Daishenka would create a great purple portal so that they'd be able to reach quickly Beerus' planet Akumo. The Supreme Saiyan would give a loud scream, destroying the entire interdimensional space that Daishenka had created. You don't understand me? Today will be the day of your death. At that moment, Akumo launched himself against Daishenken, which, despite using all his power, was not enough for Akumo, the Super Saiyan. Both exchanged blows. However, Daishenken's Golups were not effective at all. That's right, Daishenken's power was not enough to face that powerful warrior. In that moment, Akumo would dodge multiple blows from Daishenken, and with a strong blow, he would make him crash all around. Understand, you don't have the power to face me. You're nothing more than a simple worm compared to me. Vegeta, we can't do anything in our current state. That being will be able to finish us off without any effort at all. Damn insect, I'm gonna merge with you, but we have no choice. Goku and Vegeta at that moment began to perform the steps of the fusion, and an incredible power would be felt all over the place. At that moment, Akuma would begin to charge a great attack, which would even disintegrate some planets of the 12 universes. At the time of launching it, a powerful being would be able to disintegrate such a brutal attack, to which Akumo had been a little surprised, because not even a priest had the power to stop it. No! Goku, Vegeta, get out of here! That guy will kill you, and you're the hope of the 12 universes! Who the hell are you cursed, since I don't feel any other key near you? I'm, I'm neither Goku nor Vegeta. Vegeta, I'm, I'm the, the one in charge of finishing you. you. My, My name is Gogeta, Gogeta the, the Beast Dominator! Dominator. At that moment, Gogeta had disappeared and was able to connect a great blow, which would make Akumo go back hundreds of kilometers. However, Gogeta would not finish his attack there, because at that moment, at an amazing speed like lightning, he would start giving him millions of hits. He would begin to give him millions of blows all over his body. This time, Akumo was not able to do anything, since even Gogeta did not give him enough time to increase his battle level. At that moment, Gogeta would charge a powerful fire attack in the form of a dragon. Receive this, Infernal Mythical Dragon! The attack would collide directly with Akumo, which would leave him very badly wounded, because the consensed power was incredible. It seems you're nothing more than a simple worm. We've trained with the High Priest, and you don't have the power to defeat us. So, Fusion, <laughs> this will be perfect. You've been able to cause me great damage despite using 14% of my full power. At that moment, Akumo would begin to increase his power a little more, leaving everyone surprised, because Akumo had only accessed the Super Saiyan, with which he released an amazing power. 
Gogeta in the same way would take his body to the limit, since he was only using the Ultra Instinct, which was the state that Goku dominated 100% at the moment with Gogeta would use much more power being able to dominate both doctrines, giving birth to the Mega Instinct. At that moment, both began with a great battle. But this time, while both exchanged blows, Gogeta would communicate telepathically with Whis. Whis, I hope, I hope you, you listen, listen to me. This, this is a maximum, maximum alert. alert. Apparently, the six, six universes that were destroyed have returned to life. Now I find myself fighting, fighting with one of their gods since I shake it was completely defeated. defeated. My father's been defeated. You're the fusion of Lord Goku and Vegeta. The power you release is incredible. But tell us, how can we be of help in this battle? The only thing that you could help on this occasion would be for all the gods, angels, and mortals of the 12 universes to unite. Okay, at this moment I'll communicate with each one of them. Gogeta at that moment would be sent to the ground with multiple wounds. That's right, the power of Kumo in Super Saiyan was abysmal. So much so that it had even surpassed the power of Gogeta's Mega Instinct. Damn, Damn it, I'm the, the Tamer of Beasts, beasts and, and you won't be the exception. exception. I'll, I'll finish you miserable insect. insect. Gogeta would again launch the attack, but the result would be the same, and so on for 34 consecutive times until he would be returned to Super Saiyan Blue. <laughs> Simple insect, your power has diminished considerably. Now you won't be able to do anything against me. I won't give up my life without a fight. Gogeta at that moment would increase his power to its limit. And in the same way, he would throw himself against Akumo, and with his maximum power, he would hit him in the face. But great was his surprise when he realized how Akumo had not even moved from the same place. At that moment, Akuma, with a flurry of blows, and from using him as a punching bag, had left him on the ground very badly wounded. Now you're no longer a worthy opponent for me. Although, you never really were. I only played with you. Damn it! If Goku and Vegeta die, all 12 universes will be completely destroyed! I have to do something. However, at that moment, both of Xenosama's guardians, at an astonishing speed, would begin to exchange blows with Akumo who was not able to observe them clearly. When they arrived at flashing speed, at that moment, both Guardians had given him excellent blows, sending him flying millions of kilometers. Brother, let's use it. Dual Divine Attack. In that instant, both Guardians had concentrated an overwhelming power, so much so that the attack was the triggered had been crazy, creating a huge explosion all around. Goku, Vegeta, this is your chance. At that moment, Gogeta would return to observe them all. I promise, this will not be in vain. I swear I'll avenge you and bring down that wretch. Gogeta at that moment would enter the portal, which had been created by Daishenkin-sama. However, at that moment of entering, an even greater power interfered with Daishenkin-sama's dimensional change, taking Gogeta to another place. In that moment, he would arrive at the place of pure negative energy. Where the hell am I? Is this not the planet of Mr. Beerus? At that same instant, an incredible power would be felt all over the place. So much was his power that he would even make the fusion fall to the ground. And at that moment, with a snap of his fingers, he would make Goku and Vegeta return to normality. I am, at last, able to consider warrior son Goku. Your participation in the tournament of power has left me speechless. I have a proposal for you. Goku and Vegeta, without being able to move, would not be able to say anything. At that moment, the pressure of that subject would decrease considerably, allowing Goku and Vegeta to move with some difficulty. How do you know my name? And who are you? My name is Noah, and I'm the last god of the six rebel gods, and I'm also the most powerful god among the 18 universes, even being able to end the life of Xenosama with just one of my hands. At that moment, Goku and Vegeta were very surprised by what that being said. If what you say is true, that means that you're our enemy. You are wrong, Saiyan, because despite being the most powerful god of the 18 gods, my intention was never to end the lives of innocent people. I always ended with all the evil, but despite that, all my energy was involved with the negativity of the 18 universes. What are you getting at with all this? I don't understand. I was known as the god of death, and my wish is to merge with you, Son Goku, since I could see that in your heart there's goodness and justice. I would never accept to be the god of death. 
At that moment, both felt the power of beers and whisk, and without wasting time, Goku and Vegeta teleported. Arriving to the atmosphere of planet Earth, observing how a being, in the simple way, was giving a beating to both deities. Damn it! Those bastards are looking for me to finish them off one way or another! When Goku and Vegeta tried to increase their power to the maximum, it was not possible due to the incredible power that they had before. Goku would then use quickly the Kaioken increase to 100 times, with which he was able to increase his power in an amazing way, sending that guy to fly. At that moment, Whis with his staff would achieve that both Saiyans would completely recover. Since you were eliminated, all the universe is evolved, so you're not the only one powerful beings. Ha ha ha! Don't make me laugh, Beerus. You know what the limit of our power. You are always cataloged as normal gods unlike us. We are called Supreme Gods. At that moment, the four warriors launched themselves against that god. However, despite having more numbers, they were not able to connect an effective blow. Vegeta would take distance, starting to create his most powerful attack. Receive this, Super Vegeta Attack! At that moment, a powerful attack would vanish, towards Sorat, with which only the power of his aura would make that power vanish without leaving any trace. They have a great power, but after all, they're not capable of doing anything against us. They're not worthy yet. Sorat at that moment would throw a great sphere of energy towards Beerus, however Wiss would stand in front of that great attack. Mr. Beerus, you have been the best god of destruction. I hope you're able to see you again in the next world. In that moment, an incredible explosion had finished with the life of Wis Beerus, without containing all his anger, he threw himself against Sorat, beginning to exchange millions of blows, but Beerus was no match for that god, and after a few blows, Beerus would fall to the ground lifeless, leaving only both Saiyans which were furious. I'll not let you stay alive. You'll be exterminated by me, the Great Vegeta. At that moment, Vegeta in the same way had launched himself against that god, but Goku would not stay behind and in the same way would go to his aid. However, Sorat, a little bored, took the battle a little more seriously and with a great attack, had pierced Goku and gave him millions of blows, which made him scream from all the pain he had felt. At that moment, Goku would fall to the ground on the verge of death. While observing how Vegeta was totally humiliated, Meanwhile, in Goku's mind, Noah had appeared once again. I have never been like my other teammates. Let's merge, and then nothing and no one will be able to defeat us. We'll be able to save everything we love. Damn it. It's okay, I agree to merge with you. I don't want that damn guy to get away with it. I swear I'll smash him to pieces. Now don't get confused, Goku. When we fuse, it's true. You'll increase your power in a big way. But that won't be enough to defeat Sorat. What do you mean? I won't be able to defeat him. Weren't you considered the most powerful god among the 18 gods? That's right. By being considered a danger of multiversal scale, all the other gods, angels including the king of everything, sealed my power in the four poles. North, south, east, and west. It's no use for us to merge. Don't be silly. We only need to have the necessary power to be able to access the supreme power of the super god of death. I understand. I accept to be the new god of death since I will end the life of each one of those damned ones. At that moment, an astonishing negative key would come out of Goku's body, which was increasing its power to a mind-blowing form, so much so that it would attract the attention of Sorat, who was torturing Vegeta. What's going on? Where did he release all that power from? Goku at that moment would give a loud roar, destroying all the planets in Universe 7, that's right, Goku had finished the merger with Noah, becoming the new god of death. What will happen next? Find out in the next chapter. Well guys, this is all for today's chapter. I hope you liked it and it was to your liking. Now don't forget to leave your powerful like, supreme god level, comment and subscribe. Now without further ado, see you in a new video. Until next time.